Hey all my Leo friends and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your July 2018 channel messages from Spirit. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Leo signs. Um, so make sure if this one doesn't resonate, you check your other um, signs as well. A lot of times uh, your moon signs will resonate a lot more than your sun signs if you're here for love reading. Um, so make sure you're checking out your moon sign as well as your rising to Venus. So, um, what I'm seeing for you guys, uh, the theme, I guess you could call it, of your reading, uh, is the number eight. Uh, the number eight is the infinity sign, um, which what goes up, comes down, up, down. That's what I see for you guys. Um, you can also refer to, like, the Wheel of Fortune, the Karmic Wheel, uh, you guys have been on the downhill side of the swing, and it is now looking up for you. July is going to be an amazing month for you guys financially. Um, for some of you, I see you're getting like gifted money. It's like this money just shows up out of nowhere. Um, I don't know if it's like I don't know if it's like an inheritance, like gambling. And not that I promote gambling, so don't go out and bet your life savings. That is not what I'm saying. Um, but it's something where it's just like, you didn't expect it. And then all of a sudden it's there. Um, it's like, it's coming from the heavens. It just falls from the sky for another group of you. You get a job offer, uh, coming in. Your finances are just going to improve dramatically. Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to, it looks like you guys are trying to create something. Um, you're trying to create something, but there's some something blocking you or some kind of resistance. Yeah, yeah, you guys are being like restricted, whether it be on your end or whoever you're trying to pitch this idea to, that resistance is being removed. You guys are getting over this. So if you're trying to create a business, trying to create something, uh, you're going to be successful this month. Money is coming in for you. Um, the hard times financially that some of you are facing, you're struggling with like bills. Um, that's coming to an end in July. Um, you, you guys are manifesting beautifully. Some of you are manifesting job offers. Um, you guys are taking on life with a whole new attitude, a whole new outlook. Um, you guys, yeah, you're just manifesting beautifully. Uh, whatever you want, you're getting it. Yeah. Um, some of you are dealing with court cases, it looks like. Um, you're going to come out the victor in whatever court case you're battling. Um, I do see this group of you being successful. Um, justice is on your side. So that is a very big plus for some of you. Um, for some of you, you are waiting on a, a job offer from a fire sign. That's uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Uh, but it didn't come in. Something had to happen before it could. Like something was transforming inside the company. Um, they could have been rearranging workers. They could have been uh, reorganizing departments. <laughs> something was going on within the company. That job offer is coming in. Um, For some of you, this is such an important month for you. Um, now that we have the summer solstice, we're on the downhill side slide of the year. Um, it's also, oh wow, I just got chills. Um, for a large group of you, you have come to the time of your spiritual awakening where you are crossing a spiritual bridge. 
um, it's bridging the the um, spiritual and the material realms, the 3D and the 5D. You guys have come to that bridge, and there's going to be an important test of faith coming to you. Um, don't be scared by that. Don't be freaked out. It's nothing bad. Um, yeah, something is coming in. Cosmic energy is at work with you guys. It's going to be amazingly beautiful, so don't fear it. Um, they're removing your blocks. They're taking taking you on your spiritual journey. Around July 6th, I see the starting for this group of you. Um, you're going to need to learn something. It's something you haven't done before. You're going to need to learn something new to, in order to connect with something, someone, something, um, Yeah. Oh, okay. You're going to need to learn how to do something to connect to your guides, your angels. Um, it's going to come to you in the form of meditation or dreams. Your dreams right now are speaking so loudly to you. They're trying to direct you through dreams. So you could be having some crazy, vivid dreams right now. Pay attention to those. Your messages are in there. When you wake up, journal them. Um, because chances are halfway through the day, you forget what you dreamt about or forget little details in there. That's very important for some of you. This is very important for you to cross that spiritual bridge that you have come up to now. Um, this is also going to make you recognize something in your life that needs changed. There's something in your life that you're doing, um, thinking, behaving, uh, that needs changed. It's not um, on the spiritual side of things. This is going to magnify it. It's going to put a big light on it so you know exactly what it is. You're going to realize that around the 11th of July is what I'm getting. Um, yeah. So beautiful. Um, for some of you, your patience level is down here. Um, you need to work on tempering yourself, uh, being patient. What is meant for you will find you, will come in. You can't force it. Uh, some of you are not living in the moment. You're too focused on yesterday or tomorrow. Uh, spirits reminding you to live for today. That's the only moment that matters anyways. Um, you can't change yesterday and you... Um, can't make tomorrow get here any faster so you might as well enjoy this minute you're in uh for some of you you're so worried about taking care of other people that you're neglecting yourself you're not taking care of yourself spirit is reminding you that you have to be 100 percent to help anybody so make sure you're taking care of you take time for yourself um you know go get a massage go get you know a pedicure or something take time for you you're neglecting your own needs and wants to make everyone else happy. Um, for some of you, you're going through a destiny, a destined period right now. Um, it's destiny, what you're going through. Uh, you're dealing with a fire sign as well. Um, this person is in and out of your life, very back and forth. Um, you're going in circle. I see you two just circling each other over and over. Uh, yeah, your angels are working this out. Be patient with that as well. This person is in your life for a reason. Uh, and that reason is they're your twin flame. Um, you are the one that is not awakened to that yet. Your partner is, or that other person is. Um, they're so in and out in your life because they come in to reflect what you need to work on. And then they leave. They give you that time to work on yourself. They come back. Oh, not done yet. They leave. Um, you guys are the ones that are not awakened to that connection. So if you haven't heard of that before, or if you don't think you're, you haven't thought you were in it, look into it. Um, you're in it. Uh, you will be awakened in the month of July. Your angels are here. You will 
you will figure it out this month. And if you're a cross watcher for a Leo, yay you, they're going to figure it out this month. Um, for some of you, you guys have, uh, you guys are really disappointed about something. Um, disappointed with a situation, with a person, um, someone from your past. Spirit is saying just to love yourself first, take time for you. Um, when you love yourself first, you're able to give so much more love and they're going to come back and that bond is going to deepen. That bond is going to get stronger and, um, and be someone who is in your life forever. Uh, for some of you, uh, you're manifesting in such a way that uh, it's going to come in very fast, but it's also going to enlighten you <laughs> to something in your life that you no longer want. You're going to start picking who gets to be in your life and who don't. You're going to start weeding out the weeds. Be cautious. In the, um, somebody may try to steal from you. I see somebody trying to steal something. Yeah, be very careful of this. Be careful of this energy, especially when you start weeding people out. They're... They're going to try to get something away from you. Just make sure your doors are locked, your house is locked, your car is locked. Um, and be careful who you trust in and around your home. Uh, yeah. For some of you, seven means something. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, if this means something to you, look it up. That's your angel number. Your angels are talking to you. You're on the right path. You're on the right spiritual path, and you're at that bridge. So um, definitely, if 777 connects to you, you are one I'm talking about being at that spiritual bridge. Look up your angel. Look up that angel number, and it'll give you the whole message. Um, for some of you, for some of you, you have something big coming in. Big, big. You guys are just going to have an amazing month. Um, your friends, family, uh, lovers, they're going to want you to try something new. Go do it. Experience it. Um, that's what we're here for. We're a, we are a soul experiencing um, life in this body that we're given. Go experience life. Get out of the house. You can do all sorts of stuff for free. Um, get out there and do it. It's going to be fun. And it's going to bring in new hobbies that you never thought you would like. And you're going to enjoy them and continue them on. <laughs> Excuse me. For some of you around the 25th of July, there's going to be a burden that comes to you or a situation that comes to you. And you are finally going to walk away. This is an issue with a family member that you have been burdened for far too long and been carrying the only weight of the situation. Something's going to come to you that day and you're just going to throw your hands up and be done. That's what you're being called to do anyways. So it's not your issue. It's not your burden to carry. So leave it for whoever it is. Um, for some of you, um, you're trying to control a situation that you have no control in. So that is also burdening you. Let it go. Uh, everything happens in its own time. Um, and it will happen in your favor. So... No need to stress and worry about it. This person that you're waiting for, for a group of you, they are worth waiting for. Um, they're figuring out some stuff in their own life. It looks like it's an earth sign. They're at a distance from you. They're going to make a love offer. They're going to come in and make you a love offer like you've never had before. 
This is going to offer stability, um, an overabundance of emotion, feeling complete, feeling worthy, um, all just by being in their presence. This is for people who are single right now, um, who are not waiting for someone. This is somebody new. They are coming in. Or wait, I'm sorry. This is for someone who is waiting for somebody. They are coming back. They are coming in and they are offering you, making you love offers. They're at a distance from you right now. Um, could be an earth sign. Like I said, this is just going to completely engulf you in joy, pure joy. Yeah, amazing. Um, for those of you who are single and are waiting for somebody to come in, but not anybody from your past, like wanting a relationship, but have nobody, um, you have to release your ex. You have to release the energy. Cut the karmic ties and bonds with this person because um, this is holding off and you love coming in. Um, if you uh, don't already have a ritual, I, I think I have one posted. If not, I'll make one after this video on what you can do to release. Um, once you do that, you're going to have your life partner come in like that. Um, by the end of July, beginning of August, you will have your life partner come into your life. This is age like 35 to 45, 50 um, definite life partners. Um, if you are from the age of like 21 to 33, you guys have soulmates coming in. Um, this person is not somebody that you would have ever guessed that you would date. Um, but they're going to come in and sweep you off your feet so hard that you couldn't imagine not dating them. Um, you two are going to be such a beautiful balance of energy. You're going to wonder how did you get so lucky? This is an amazing, amazing connection. For some of you, you're waiting on somebody who is with a karmic partner right now. Those karmic relationships are coming to an end in July, especially if you're dealing with a Virgo, a Sag, or a Pisces, um, or an Aquarius. Uh, their karmic relationships are coming to an end by the end of July, so they will be returning shortly. Um, you could be getting communication from them around the 15th of July. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to reach out, and they may not tell you they're leaving their karmic. They may not tell you their relationship is ending, but um, karmic relationships are ending because they're being awakened to your connection. Um, for those of you... For those of you who are waiting for a twin flame to return, this is if you've been in a twin flame from zero to three years in the last three years, um, you have to end something first before they can come back. They are awakened. They know the connection, but they can't fully come back to you until you end something. So I don't know if you guys are, you know, with another relationship, if you guys, I don't know what it is. Just something has to come to an end and that re energy has to be released um, before they can return. Now, this is not saying go out and dump all your boyfriends and girlfriends because your twin might be coming. Um, you will know if I'm talking to you. You will know because that twin has reached out to you. Um, they have wanted to connect to you, but it just hasn't fully connected. Um, and it's because you have something else in your energy space that is taking up too much room. Um, now it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody else. That could be numerous things. Um, you will know if that's you. Um, a lot of relationships, they're really transforming, um, becoming more spiritually centered and more deeper connections. Um, especially if you're already married or in a relationship, um, beautiful transformations. A, they may have hurt in the last month or so, but you're coming out to the sun. You are transforming beautifully 
and your relationship is going to get that much stronger. For a group of you, somebody, somebody wants you back bad. Um, they're begging you for a second chance. They... Yeah, you have to choose between, it looks like two people. Some people may have three. Yeah, yeah, you guys have options. Um, go with your heart. Go with what feels right. When you follow your heart, you can't go wrong. Um, for some of you, you are realizing a connection that you didn't realize before. Um, and you're going to go back and try to uh, return to this person. They will open, welcome you with open arms. Some of you have secrets coming out in July around the 18th, probably 18th, 19th. Um, your secrets are coming out to your spouse, to your significant other about a third party. Um, this is going to cause big shifts. But this is the push in the right direction. These secrets had to come out. This is what's going to push you in the right path. Um, what's done in the dark always comes to light. Um, whether it, you know, it be your shadow self uh, revealing it, you know, it always comes out. Um, you have to decide if you're going to wait and let these secrets come out. Or if you want to be the bigger person and come forward and tell your partner and spouse or spouse, about this um, because it would be so much better coming from you than them hearing it in the gossip mill and feeling a fool. So, you know, it's encouraged that you come forward and be honest with your partner because they're coming, those secrets are coming out at the end of July. Um, it's going to create a new beginning with you, with somebody else, um, that third party for uh, this group of that is a twin flame that you've been in separation from anywhere from eight months to 14 months. Um, but then they're going to have to have that time of healing. So for a lot of you, I see you are the third party. So then, you know, know that your partner or whatever, whoever you're waiting on, their secrets are coming out. Uh, for so many of you, you have a new beginning this month. Such a lighthearted, joyful, happy, innocent energy about you because you have come out a, a hard, difficult time. Um, financially, emotionally, spiritually, uh, you have a new beginning. You are taking a leap of faith and you're not going to be let down. The universe is going to take care of you. Um, you are going to manifest whatever it is that you want. Just huge, huge things going on in July for Leos. Um, you, out of all the signs I've done this far, and I think I've done eight, um, by far have the biggest uh, month coming towards you, uh, spiritually, emotionally, in relationships, in jobs, and you know financially. Um, it's all positive. Um, as far as these messages, uh, we always have the the negatives of life, but that's just life. So you guys have a lot to look forward to. So I'm so excited for you guys, new jobs, new businesses, new love, old love returning, second chances, new beginnings. It's all there. So Leo, that's all I have for you. I'm glad you joined me here on my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and thank you for checking me out. If you are returning as always, thanks for your continuous support and much love. Send you guys all love and light. God bless.